All right, here is my upgrade to my solar panel system. I got four panels now. I got two new ones. Two new ones in the middle are SunTech. They're 190 watts a piece. Now the one on the right is Trina Solar. I think it's 185 watts. And the one over here is Missouri Wind and Solar. It's 180 or 85 watts also. So a total of about 750 watts. And works great. Just got it hooked up and still putting the finishing touches on it. But it is functional. I'm running uh, two rooms in my house and I just started running a refrigerator so that's a big help running my fridge. Let's go inside and garage and see uh, see what we're making. It's about two or two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, Let's see what we're making. You can see outside the sun is bumping. And my uh, TriStar. Let me get this thing in focus. Oh, I need to turn the light here. There we go. Get uh, 19.5 amps. Oops. And about right now, 535 watts approximately. Yeah, it's pretty good. Remember my system's 750, so, you know, it's getting there. It'll peak in about an hour. Yeah, the thing about these uh, TriStar meters, I didn't know, but um, once your batteries are full, they'll actually stop bringing in power. And I came out here the other day, my batteries are 100% full, and I looked up here and it was only bringing in 100 watts or so, and I was like, what the heck is going on? Why am I only bringing 100 watts? And uh, uh, the TriStar charge controller, the Morningstar charge controller, knows if your battery is full, so it just says, oh, I'm not bringing any more power, and that's that. So, for those of you who get scared that your thing's not working, um, <laughs> I didn't know that either. Anyways, got uh, got that working. This is... Uh, my inverter. It's a Samlex inverter. It says Kotec, but I guess that's a part of the brand or something. I don't know, but it's Samlex. It's awesome. I love that inverter. It's 1500 watts and never gives me a problem. Uh, only got four batteries right now. Trojan T105. And they were new when I bought them. They work great. I need four more though, to be honest. I get drained pretty good at night with the refrigerator going, down to about 70. 70% left. I mean, I'd like to double it, so uh, maybe uh, maybe just drain me down to 85 or 90 or something. And here's my, here's the guts of the operation. Okay. Everything works great. I got a two, uh, just two, uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> two breakers, one for my living room, one for my master bed. And this system's totally off grid, so um, the rest of my house runs on grid, which is about 50% of it. So I got my bathrooms and stuff running on grid, some of the lights in the house, and two of the bedrooms, but. Uh, Master beds, off grid, and then, uh, like I said, my kitchen I'm starting, so now I got my fridge running off grid, which is uh, pretty awesome. And see what kind of watch we're taking out right now. I got, uh, well, I guess my fridge is not on right now. It must be kicked off. I'm only burning 42 watts. This, uh, this little um, kilowatt meter takes everything that comes out of my inverter. And it goes in this plug here, and that goes up to my little breaker box. So I know exactly how much both rooms are using just by looking here. With the uh, 
it's upside down, but you know, how many watts I'm using, it's pretty cool, pretty handy. All right, that's uh, that's pretty much it for now. Four panels, 750 watts, and pretty happy.